See, God knows his chosen. God knows we would be obedient. The ones that are chosen and everybody else in the world, see, our lives are just rehearsals until we learn to let go because we do not have the pen to the chapters in our book. We haven't been given permission to write in that book. And when we do write in that book, we're going to keep failing every time, especially if you don't know God. It's different if you knew God in the right way. Connecting to God is a sin. Getting messages from God is a sin. Even being a prophetic dreamer is a sin. To many, many religions and cultures, okay? But what God's asking you to do is go in solitude, in solitude, in peace, and quiet. Choose to live your life the way God is guiding you to. Because he knows best. And there is a plan that prevails for everyone in a, the most profound, beautiful way ever. See, we, I don't live this way because I'm getting something from it. I live this way because I want to live at peace. Whatever God has given me or will give me in the future is only a bonus. I have my health. I have food on the table. I'm happy. And I want to be taking care of myself, not because somebody else is in my life or will be in my life. See, we used to do all of this only when somebody came into our lives. We wanted to look good. We did this. We tried for ourselves. But how about trying and living a healthy lifestyle because you now love yourself, right? Now you choose yourself. This is how God wants us to live for ourselves. But only when you disconnect from the worldly pleasures and what the world has taught you and what tradition and culture has taught you to get these answers. And it doesn't come from everybody else. No amount of money will, will have you pay for another life. There's no such thing. 